Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we had created this project and in that video tutorial we had implemented advice like after returning advice. Now in this video tutorial I'll I will show you how to implement after throwing advice. So let's add one more method in this class is called public void after throwing advice so method name you can give anything whatever you want and this method I'm going to pass this parameter and one more parameter I'm going to pass that is called exception ex and now here I would like to print we can print the I mean method as well as class name in this advice as well so here I would write uh, after throwing after throwing exception in method or class name you can print like this and this advice will be called when if you call any service method and while executing that method if method throws some exception so here we can print exception as well so here you can print exception message here now we can say exception exception each and here dot get message we have a get message so we can print this message now here xml file we have to register this message as a advice so here after returning advice already we have registered now here you can make use of eop namespace and here we can define different types of advices so to define a after throwing advice we have a tag like eop column after throwing advice and here you can specify a method which you can register as a after throwing advice now we can define point cut as well so point cut reference we can is already we have defined this point cut so id of this point cut we can assign here and this advice takes one more parameter is called something is called throwing and here you are going to define whatever name variable name you are specifying here same you are going to assign here so that's it so this way we can register uh, after throwing advice now in service class what I will do in service class here I'm going to write if customer ID is null equal to equal to null right then I'm going to throw, throw an exception is called like throw throw new exception and exception has a different uh, I mean overloaded uh, overloaded constructor so I'm going to use this constructor so I would say customer id is invalid or you can say invalid customer id right now this is check decision so you either need to wrap this statement inside the try catch or you need to declare a throws clause now if this exception uh, contains throws clause then whenever you call this method 
from your project then there also you need to write a try catch or throws block so yes with the throws block over here now almost we have done now here i want to do some refactoring stuff so right click over here and this is our service class and there we have declared one service method so right click over here go to the refactor and extract interface and give the interface name as account service now your i mean our service interface implements this interface so now you need to make some change over here right so aop config has one attribute is called proxy target class here you need to make true so that uh, for creation of proxy object of your service class will be taken care by the uh, cg leave right now if i run this application so now for if i run this application then after returning advice will be called by default right so after returning advice is getting called right so this first statement is getting print printed from here and after that we are printing the state of this object so this and this statement is coming from the client program right so from client program we are printing this statement but now intentionally i am passing over here null right so if i pass null then if here we have given the condition if customer id is null then we are intentionally throwing an exception and in that case our after throwing advice will be called and as i said uh, once your service class method will throw some exception then after returning advice will not be called right so let's run this application and see now look at here <coughs> excuse me after throwing exception in method aka a get account customer by id right and class name is this one so this statement is getting printed from after throwing advice right so if you look into the after throwing advice so this statement we have written here and we are printing the exception as well but here if you look in the console then after returning advice is not getting called right so that's it i wanted to cover in this video tutorial so here you have seen how to implement after returning advice and after throwing advice using xml approach next video tutorial i am going to convert same project in using annotations so see you there guys and thanks for watching my video tutorial until that happy learning